The man held the picture of his wife tightly, go to the battlefield with firm eyes. The next second, he crashed into a stream. A mother and her son happened to pass by. The woman rushed forward to rescue the pilot Carl inside. The plane is about to explode. At this juncture of life and death, Carl didn't forget to get his wife's picture back, just narrowly escaped. He was stunned by the scene in front of him. He told women, I'm from the 2nd Air Force Squadron, and asked where she comes from. We're Americans. What the heck are you doing in Burma? This is in Burma? It's Ohio! Yeah, this is Rangoon. I was just in a, in a dogfight over... Dayton? I grew up near Dayton. The man is completely confused. Why did he suddenly return to his hometown? Later, the mother and son cooperated with the police to record a statement. The police said, they'll treat the pilot as a psychiatric ward. But the kind-hearted boy didn't think it was that simple. He pretended to be thirsty and went to buy water and sneak into the pilot's room and told him about Carl's imprisonment. Carl was excited after listening. He soon realized that he was acting too aggressively. Apologize for. He gave the boy the chocolate in his coat. My wife gave that to me. It's sort of a good luck charm. Every time before I fly so that nothing bad happens to me, she thinks candy brings luck. The boy finally let down his guard, so they became good friends. By this time, the police had arrived at the door, ready to take Carl. Carl sees this and hurries to open the house door. Tell the boy in a panic. The local director Fry is my friend. He can prove my true identity. Please be sure to find him. And Carl let go of the door. I put all my hopes on the boy. On the way, the boy kept begging his mother. Go to find director Fry as Carl said, but my mother refused. She also thinks that Carl has a mental problem. The boy took out the chocolate Carl gave him. He told his mother that this kind of chocolate had been out of production for more than 30 years. Maybe he didn't lie, but my mother was still unmoved. The boy continued to plead. We gotta help him. What if he's still his family? He shouldn't be alone. This sentence seems to touch my mother's heart, reminds her of her husband who died in battle. She immediately turned around and headed for the local bureau, but the officer on duty told them, the director here is not called Fry, there is no such person in the bureau. Then the boy noticed a display cabinet, there is a picture of the last century, the soldier above is pilot Carl, so the boy deliberately drew the attention of the watchman, hide the photos secretly. After leaving the game, the boy immediately handed the picture to his mother, mom immediately became stupid, Carl's face appears on it, at the same time. Carl on the other side woke up from anesthesia. He slipped out of the hospital. The man opened the door. The car gave a piercing alarm. Men are a little flustered because the car is not his. It turns out that he just came from World War II. Everything in modern times. It's so strange to him. The news just alerted the agents upstairs. Fortunately, Carl is lucky. A man drove by on an old motorcycle. He just wants to see his wife for the last time. So he grabbed the motorcycle and left quickly before the agent came. When the woman on the other side came with her son, a motorcycle suddenly rushed out of the intersection. It was the pilot Carl they saved. The boy was very excited. He thought it was no coincidence that he met both times. This must be a sign from heaven. They must help the soldier find his wife. The woman thinks of her husband who died in battle again. She's sensitive. With the help of mother and son, Carl finally found his old home. He shouted his wife's name excitedly. Finally Finally, someone responded. Excuse me, can I help you? Looking for Pauline. I'm her husband. Her husband? Aren't you a little young to be her husband? All of a sudden, Carl's eyes stopped on a wall. The wall was covered with pictures of his wife. The wife in the picture smiles so brightly, but Carl's eyes were full of tears. Because the man in the picture is not him, he went out in frustration. The woman also felt a little confused after seeing it, so he picked up his mobile phone and searched for Carl's name. But the result in a few seconds surprised him. She found the news about Carl. He does exist in history. At that time, the news media also reported his heroic deeds. He was shot by the enemy while on a mission in Myanmar. When the mother and son were about to tell Carl about it, a group of all armed mysterious organizations surrounded here. Then the house suddenly shook. It looks like an earthquake, an officer told Carl. That was a seismic tremor caused by you being here, by what happened to you. You came here through something called a rift. A what? Basically, Lieutenant, you have traveled into the future. The man even fooled Carl. The space-time vortex is not closed yet. If you go back now, you can see your beloved wife. The little boy in the room can't bear to see Carl go back to die again. He rushed out of the house and told him the truth, and then volunteered to drive away with Carl as a hostage. They managed to escape to a river. You never thought. This World War II soldier missed his wife, crossed to the present before sacrificing. He's sorry. I didn't even say goodbye to my wife. The boy felt strange. It's a dumb superstition. I thought that by never saying goodbye, it meant that I was never really gone. So I could never get hurt. It always worked. Until it didn't. 
Carl wondered why the boy always helped him. The boy's father was also a pilot and died fighting abroad. He hoped Carl would have a good ending. Then the boy had an idea. Father told him, Kalaf bulletproof vest can withstand bullets. If Carl goes back to the past in a bulletproof vest, maybe we can change our destiny. So they took advantage of the night to steal equipment. But they were surrounded by mysterious organizations before they could steal it. The mother worried about her son's safety and came forward to negotiate. Carl said he was willing to go back and told women what they thought. However, this simple request was rejected by the mysterious organization. It turns out that they are a department specializing in crossing events. They have also tried to change the history of people crossing. But in the end, I found, if the party can't go back to the past intact, then all creatures within a 10 mile radius will be destroyed. Carlton was disheartened when he learned the truth. The kind-hearted man can't involve innocent people for his own selfish desire. But he has one last request. Say goodbye to your lover. The officer promised him five minutes. When he entered his former home again, a wrinkled old man appeared in front of him. Carl stepped forward nervously. He has too much to say in his heart. And the wife recognized her husband at a glance. I'm sorry that I let a stupid superstition get the better of me. I'm sorry that I never said goodbye. I know you moved on. I know you forgot about me. But I needed you to know that I love you. I always have and I always will. The wife was filled with mixed feelings and tears. She wants to say too much but time waits for no one. Carl has to go. Just then his wife stopped him. She opened the pendant on her chest, and inside it was Carl's picture. His wife always remembered him. Deeply moved, Carl invited his wife. Another dance they used to dance when they were young. Okay, I can't dance. Anymore. It's okay. I've got you. The time spent together is always so short. The wife watched Carl leave with reluctant eyes. If we can meet again, I'm afraid there's only another life. Carl came out and hugged the boy to express his gratitude. And then he got on the plane and was ready to take off. The boy cried and saluted Carl. The aircraft then slowly lifted off. Carl took one last look at his wife's picture. Flies towards the vortex of time and space with firm eyes. If love has an afterlife, I hope they can meet in the next life.